Hey guys, uh, Brian here. Hey, as you can see from the uh, intro to the video, you'll see some pictures of uh, uh, bent push rods and burn spark plugs, and there's a uh, actual video of a uh, burned hole in a number seven piston. Um, what that is of, obviously, you can tell it's a uh, Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Um, we sent it to a uh, uh, tuner here in the region where we live and uh, come back it wasn't quite right so basically what you see in the first pictures is what exactly happened so I got with a guy local here and his name's Chad Butler and we uh, he gave me some uh, information on a uh, tuner out on the East Coast by the name of Demon Performance I contacted Demon Performance um, put the car on trip I mean put the car on a trailer, sent it out there, uh, they started tearing it down and basically the whole valve train was uh, toasted so at that point we decided we had you know basically just rebuild the whole entire motor um, it was a joint venture between Demon Performance and TKM Performance in North Carolina um, if you all know anything about TKM Performance um, Kevin Mullins uh, Y'all can look him up and figure that out. Um, the car has been gone since uh, we're now uh, about about quarter of the way through January 2017. The car's been gone since April of last year, so it's it's been a lengthy build. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up uh, at the end of the video to show the progress of. Uh, the engine being built, put into the car, you know, the car being torn down, the, the uh, bad engine taken out. Um, I got a report from Skip, which is one of the owners of Demon Performance, uh, that the car was uh, a couple days ago being data logged, and uh, they said it was quite a wicked car. It's, I believe, Skip is telling me next Tuesday it's supposed to go on the dyno. Um, the engine uh, is rated to handle 1500 horsepower um, I'm not going to I'm not going to until the car gets back and get some video of the car then I'll maybe I might release some numbers of what the horsepower is I don't know um, but we're, we're ready for it to come back um, I had done an original video and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to that's the reason we're doing this one um, I'm going to go over a little bit of what's in the build sheet so um, bear with me it's a long build sheet so I'm going to read it off of the computer so bear with me on that um, basically it's a uh, TKM forged Hellcat long block um, port and polish the Hellcat cast, uh, castings uh, stainless steel hollow intake valves I can now exhaust valves trend custom push rods uh, stank rocker straps, collars, um, custom ground, uh, blower cam, uh, TKM diamond coated pistons, uh, uh, H13 piston pins, Carlo Pro H H beam rods, um, uh, let's see, uh, I'm only going to read through uh, a lot of the bigger parts. Uh, CNC the deck, uh, precision balance, rotating assembly, um, let's see, uh, it is running E98 and E90, or E98 and E85, um, it's uh, Diablo Sport PCM, obviously Diablo Tune, uh, DSS, or Drive Shaft Specialist, uh, carbon fiber drive shaft, um, DSS 1400 pound axles. Uh, we did change the rear end out. We went with the 309 rear end. Uh, let's see. Um, Paramount Performance Dominator 8 speed converter. Uh, went with uh, Cook's headers. Uh, let's see. Um, custom shortened rear sway bar end links. Uh, MT uh, drag radials. Uh, let's see the uh, 
the blower or the supercharger has been poured and polished. Um, that's basically, I mean, the uh, uh, meats and potatoes of what the build is. Um, we're excited to get the car back. Uh, I'm hoping maybe this month. I don't know. It depends on how the dyno goes. So we're just kind of playing it by ear right now. Um, I wanted to release a video uh, to let guys know that, hey, the car's coming. Um, be on the streets hopefully soon. Uh, right now here in Oklahoma we've got terrible weather coming in so it's I mean basically if it comes back any time within the next two or three weeks it's going to be sitting in the garage so I have to wait for the weather to warm up, the roads to warm up. So anyway um, we're going to put some pictures up of, uh, of the car and what Demon Performance has done. Um, so you know stay tuned and I'm glad you guys tuned in I do want to say a special thanks out a special thanks to uh, Chris Hollick uh, Yanker Crank TV for letting me use his filming equipment um, Skip and Nate with Demon Performance uh, Kevin Mullins with TKM Performance um, all the guys that have worked on the car I'm I don't know your name but you know who you are uh, special thanks to uh, very special thanks to Chad Butler for getting me hooked up with these guys. So stay tuned, come back and see what we uh, post up next. Thanks.